sons and daughters of God. Daily devotional by Alan G. White. Christ is our only access to the Father. August 20th. Thank God every day for the cross. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25. How is God reconciled to man? By the working and merits of Jesus Christ, who put aside everything that would interpose between man and God's pardoning love. The law that man has transgressed is not changed to meet the sinner in his fallen condition, but is made manifest as the transcript of Jehovah's character the exponent of his holy will and is exalted and magnified in the life and character of Jesus Christ. Yet a way of salvation is provided for the spotless Lamb of God is revealed as the one who taketh away the sins of the world. Jesus stands in the sinner's place and takes the guilt of the transgressor upon himself. Looking upon the sinner's substitute and surety the Lord Jehovah can be just and yet be the justifier of him that believeth in Jesus Christ. To him who accepts Christ as his righteousness, as his only hope, pardon is pronounced for God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. The justice, truth and holiness of Christ which are approved by the law of God, form a channel through which mercy may be communicated to the repenting, believing sinner. Those who do not believe in Christ are not reconciled to God, but those who have faith in him are hid with Christ in God. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He became the sin-bearer and died on the cross to secure salvation for every sinner who repents and returns to his loyalty, return his loyalty to God. Only through Christ can we obtain access to the Father. Jesus says, Him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Christ takes upon him the sin of the transgressor and imputes to him his righteousness and by his transforming grace makes him capable of associating with angels and communing with God. This is your daily devotion. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Please also check the YouTube comments for any further study notes. Sons and daughters of God.